It's the time you've all been waiting for. Yes, it's hunk and chunk time. And we have not one, but two new hunk and chunks this week. So get ready. Our first hunk and chunk we're going to learn about is TH. And it goes like this. You'll notice in our TH, we have some thorns and we have a flower up here called a thistle with prickly spikes. So when we do it, we hold up our flower and it goes like this. The first TH we're going to say is the quiet whispered one. The second TH we're going to say is our voiced one. So there's a difference in when we put our hand here, we don't feel anything. When we say, mm, 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 we feel a vibration. So remember, quiet one first and our voice one that we can feel second. Get ready for TH. It goes like this. TH. TH. This is a thorn and that is a thistle. And we pretend like this is our flower and the thorns are down here. We point to them and we know up here is our prickly thistle and we point to it. So, T-H, T-H, this is a thorn and that is a thistle. <gasps> Fantastic. Now, we don't want to forget we've got two hunk and chunks this week. We've got the hunk and chunk W-H. And WH begins at the beginning of a lot of question words. And it is a quiet sound too. So it goes like this. We're going to say some of our question words. And we're going to act like we're asking a question. WH, WH is a question word. Who, what, when, where, why, and which. And all of those question words start with a WH. Try it again with me. W-H. W-H. Is a question word. Who, what, when, where, why, and which. <laughs> It'll take you a few weeks to get those question words down. But you'll get them. And you'll know that when you're spelling who, what, when, where, why, or which. That it's going to start with a which is a W-H. All right, fantastic job today learning our new Hunkin' Chunks.